Good morning everybody. This is going to be a quick review over the Lancer Tactical LT-04. I got this gun um, this past Friday because I took my G&G TR-16 in uh, for some repair and they couldn't do it by the time I needed it pretty much. So I bought this gun because it was uh, an M4 style so I could use all the couple of magazines that I already have. and. Um, it's a uh, hundred and ten bucks. Now, that's really affordable for a lot of the car, or a lot of the guns that are out nowadays. And uh, for what you pay, it's pretty quality. I mean, in the box they include a nine point six volt NIMH, which is a nice battery on its own. So I just I bought another one, and uh, they also get a little trickle charger that I immediately cut the connector off and soldered onto my smart charger but um it's got full metal internals it comes with this Ford grip uh, the only complaint I'd say that I have is this uh, whole setup right here is a little wobbly when you hold it with the Ford grip but it it won't move either way when you're holding it looking down the barrel it won't move either way more than a couple millimeters so it's not awful but I love the carrying handle it is a polymer I guess uh, I could talk about that really quick the uh, the barrel is metal and this ring is metal a couple of these accents are metal but uh, the trigger is metal as well and so is this trigger guard and um, the sights as well as the charging handle but that is about it physically which makes it to be a very light gun it doesn't weigh much it was not very much trouble to uh, carry around for uh, seven hours straight the other day so <clears throat> if you're considering buying this gun for <laughs> budget reasons I definitely recommend it because it is a uh, it's definitely not a bad not a bad gun at all um, it does come with um, one uh, sling point as well as a six point adjustable stock this is also where the battery is stored if you come back here there's these little tabs it took me a minute to try to put it back on but so you're gonna push down on these tabs with either one of your fingers, on the, or on either side. Pull this, which gives you access to where your battery will be stored. Now, in here, it really only gives you room for a nunchuck, one on this side and one on the other. Um, but I'm sure if you really tried make something else work. When you're putting this back in, you kind of have to pinch these arms in a little bit and um, wind that right there. There we go. It's much easier to do when I'm not filming with one hand, but it does have an adjustable hop up. Pull the charging handle back on the respective side. Gives you a hop up wheel right there. Um, the gun itself has, we chronoed it at like just under 400 FPS. It was shooting 395, 392, 398 constantly. But it just didn't quite break that 400 barrier, which is good. Uh, but, uh, it, it's got a, it's got a lot of uh, it's got a lot of power for what it is. Um, the range is incredible with this thing. It it can shoot um, it can shoot like a little rainbow laser beam pretty much. It's really nice. I really like this. I got a couple of kills the other day when I was playing with this thing. And man, it's not it's not my uh, blowback. TR-16, but it's definitely 
it's definitely I'm not something I'm not sad to use in the meantime but the fire rates not bad um, on the stock battery I'm sure it's better on the lipo but it's it's definitely not bad in the box it did come with these BBs they are not bad uh, I think point two yeah point two while I was there, I went ahead and got some of these .25s, uh, and that's what I've been using. I don't really use anything less than a .25 generally, but I have these .2s I may go through. And uh, with with little heavier bullets, I'm sure you can aim a little better. Uh, turn the, the hop up up a little bit, but between this range, 2 and 2.5, the hop up is just fine where it's at. So here's the box. In the box, you'll also get a little uh, target. It's not very big, but hey, the smaller it is, the uh, better, uh, I don't know, better shooter you are, I guess. A couple other weapons that come in this, as well uh, on, the, uh, on the front of the manual. And it has this exploded view of this, uh, of this weapon, and then I really appreciate this, because um, I didn't have one of these for my GNG, so this will probably tell you how to fix it on your own. Tells you pretty much every how to uh, how to do everything. I had to refer to this whenever I was having trouble with the uh, the um, putting the battery back in. But um, it's really useful. Also comes with uh, a couple of stickers and a uh, postcard to register your gun and a little patch. The uh, box itself could also act as a carrying case sufficient size just got this stuff all over it but um, the only complaints I've ever really heard about this gun with people that were out there using it is these iron sights that hole is extremely small I've heard some people um, dremel them out uh, it is adjustable though, so if you'd rather not, and you just, oops, there we are. yeah, but I prefer it like this, it's really not that bad. Uh, one thing I do love about this gun is the cheek rest, it's not solid metal, <laughs> it's not cold, this gun is very waterproof, I was playing in the soaking rain the other day. And it was doing just fine with no issues at all. Was having issues with this. So if you're curious if that comes out, I don't know, try it. Let me know. But it does have a semi in full auto, uh, like pretty much all your standard M4s. But the gun itself is extremely solid. And if you're having any questions about it, feel free to ask in the comments. But if your number one question is if you should buy this because you're on a budget, yes, you should. I really recommend this gun for $110. I mean, I've, I've used other guns of a similar price range, and they're not as trusted quality, I'd say. I don't... I don't I'm not quite reassured using them. With this gun, I bought it for one sole purpose, and that was so that it could go the en the entire day, the entire weekend, without uh, without failing me in any way, and it did just that. I probably shot maybe a thousand or more rounds through this uh, over the course of the weekend, and it had... Uh, no issues at all. The only issue, I guess you could say, is you've got to really feed the magazine. Really feed it um, till it's hard to do because uh, you only get a couple bullets out of it. But yeah, it's definitely a great gun. I definitely recommend it.